Look at that cute little dog eating that bottle. Back on my phone again because I forgot to charge my camera last night, so it's not fully charged. So just enjoy this clip of this dog biting that plastic bottle. Oh, I just I just started. Yeah, there's somebody over on this train. We're about to go to Okayama. We're gonna go to Kurishiki today. But anyways, like there's like one of these girls on this train. Probably the one behind me. Smells like some really like delicious fruits. Yep. Man. <laughs> yeah. So these fragrances, man, makes makes you just want to eat them. <laughs> it's not like freaking food. Get over here. <laughs> Shiki Clock Tower with this uh, Paper Mario sound and music. Brian gets to enjoy this. I'm gonna kill someone. <laughs> and there you have it. He's gonna kill someone. Back at Subway, back in the land of the tiny water cups. Look at this, this is the size of the water cup. Jeez. Well, look at the roast beef, man. It's like a real real looking roast beef, not that fake weird crap that they give you at uh, American Subways. Honey oat bread. Is it good? It's been a while. <laughs> Honey oat bread. Right, just to illustrate the difference of American roast beef and Japanese roast beef, first of all look at this. It's like pink, not like American roast beef is all brown and crap. <laughs> look at this man. There is blood. There's blood coming off this beef. Like this yeah. is the real shiz, man. Holy crap. You can see that on the bread. Yeah, there's like blood, yeah, there's like blood coming off this meat onto the bread. That is freaking crazy, man. Whoa. So we are at Okayama Station, about to split ways. Ryan's going back to Shikoku. I'm going back to good old Tsuyama. So how was your trip, man? It's pretty fun. We went to the gardens, you laid down the grass when you were supposed to. <laughs> you taught me how to do some camera tricks. There's no sign that said I wasn't supposed to lay down. Cute, easy 20. <laughs> we have any freaking souvenirs he bought, and then also stuff for himself. Uh, this souvenir, souvenir, and this is stuff for me. Yeah, dude, holy crap. Alright, man, well, until next time, Brian. Can you hear that? So, uh, the typhoon has come. It's like the middle, middle of the night. And the wind is going crazy. And my window keeps making that noise. Good morning, everyone. It is October 6th. The typhoon has come and gone. Brian's back out of there. I'm back at the school. So as you saw last night, there was like the crazy typhoon. <laughs> There's so many typhoons in a year in Japan that they don't even name them. Like, we name our tornadoes or whatever, or hurricanes. They don't name them typhoons. <laughs> it was called typhoon number 18. So, the 18 typhoon and the year's not even over. That's over one typhoon a month, man. So, sometimes it's just like rain and a little bit of wind, which is not bad. But last night, as you could uh, hear, it was crazy, man. Like, it... <laughs> The wind blew open my um, bathroom window and knocked all my shampoo and conditioner down. And I was like, what the fuck was that? So I was like, that's pretty crazy. Didn't really sleep well last night because of uh, all the noise and the wind and stuff. So I'm freaking tired now. Oh wait, in other news, last night when I was cooking, I was like cleaning, you see this? I was cleaning my uh, kitchen knife and I accidentally slipped and totally like just gashed up and down right here. And it was bleeding like crazy, so one of my, uh, one of the JTs had to come to my apartment and like bring medicine and bandages because I didn't have any. And I went to the school nurse sit this morning and they gave me this, and I have to go back at noon and check up on it. Hopefully this does not affect my ability to, uh, work out, so, yeah. So they're doing the, uh, English listening test by PA system. 
and uh, listen to that voice. Income. That's right, that's your boy. I had to record my voice for reading like every single question. And this is freaking crazy because they're playing it over the PA system for the listening exam. Oh my god. Check it out. Voice just playing in all these freaking classrooms. <laughs> hey guys, alright, so today is done with and, uh, oh yeah, so today was actually the test day for the students, so this whole week is test week, so during test week, Jets really don't have class because students are pretty much just preparing for and taking tests, so um, <clears throat> that's what happened all day today, and uh, now, all of the uh, first year teachers are having a three to four hour meeting discussing which college each first year student has the potential to go to. That's freaking crazy, man. So, um, man, look behind me. Look at that. Yeah, it's like pouring over there. Holy moly. Yeah, so one of the uh, teachers the, that lives in the apartment that I live in uh, drove me to the school today because we didn't know how the uh, hurricane or typhoon would be. And uh, so he's in the meeting, so I don't really want to walk home because I might get uh, destroyed by that. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to wait. Anyways, I was able to, um, I was still able to work out even with this uh, cut finger, gash, gashed up finger. But today was like this, so. Alright guys, so I decided to just walk home because actually, the, uh, I thought they were done at like 7. Because all the teachers came back into the staff room. But then they were like, no, we have like two more hours to go. So uh, they're going to finish at like 9 or 10 or something. Like that. That's freaking crazy. And so that's just a little thing of difference between Japanese and American school systems is like Japanese teachers work so many extra hours after school. Like they, the coaches, they have to coach a team or whatever, but they don't get paid extra for coaching like in America, you know. They just coach and they get nothing for it. That's a lot of hours after school because... These kids do club activities like crazy, so... Anyways, yeah, and then any any overtime that the teachers do, like the work that they come in after school or on the weekends and do, they don't get paid anything for that, so... You know, in America where we might get compensation or something? Yeah, they don't have that, so... You know, I mean, being a Jet... Oh, you can't say them anymore. Being a Jet's nice because, you know, we get paid pretty well. We get paid, like, more than all the teachers at the school, actually. And, um... You know, it's not too much work or anything. We have a lot of free time, so being a jet is nice, but the reality of working in Japan is uh, quite different.